Hello everyone. Today, let's do a counting. But this is not going to be a normal counting. We will count using a technique called as generating functions in combinatorics. And we will be doing a problem based approach. Let's learn generating functions through that. Let's go into the problem. Here is the problem. It is asking you to count the number of ways to make a fruit salad with n fruits subjected to the following constraints. First one, number of apples, let's consider it to be A, must be even and bananas, take it as B, must be a multiple of 5 and oranges, let's consider number of oranges to be C, should be less than or equal to 4 and number of pears must be less than or equal to 1. So even can be written also as 2k, so multiple of 2. So these constraints might look complicated. So do not get intimidated because we are not going to do usual count. Let's create some generating functions for these fruits. But first list down the possible values that A can take. A can take 0 because 0 is also an even number, 2, 4, 6 and so on. And the values that B can take is 0, 5, 10, 15 and so on. C can take 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and D can take 0, 1. Let's rename the number of pairs to be D instead of remember that we need n fruits to be used to make that salad. So that can be formulated as A plus B plus C plus D equals n. So you have to find the number of numbers from the set A, B, C, D which will add up to n and the number of ways you can do that. This question is not supposed to be counted directly. But let's see what can be done using generating function. The generating function of apples, say ax, is the formal power series of the form x power 0 plus x power 2 plus x power 4 plus x power 6 and so on like this. Means that we need to write the exponents as possible values of a. Neglect the x values whose exponent are not in the set a. That's the idea behind this power series. Similarly write b of x, the generating function for b to be x power 0 plus x power 5 plus x power 10, x power 15 and so on. And similarly c of x would be x power 0 plus x power 1 plus x power 2 plus x power 3 plus x power 4 and d of x would be x power 0 plus x power 1 and if you consider the product of all these formal power series it has some significance in counting and that's where algebra and combinatorics combine together and solve the problem. So how exactly this work? Let's write the expansion clear. This is x power 0 plus x power 2 plus x power 4 plus x power 6 and so on. And b of x would be x power 0 plus x power 5 plus x power 10 plus x power 15 and so on. And c of x is x power 0 plus x power 1 plus x power 2 plus x power 3 plus x power 4. And finally d of x is x power 0 plus x power 1. Remember distributive law says that when you have certain factors that are getting multiplied, you take each term of that factor and put it all together to form a particular term in the expansion. For example, one of the term in the expansion can be obtained by choosing x square and uh, x power 10 and x power 1 from c of x and x power 0. So this is how the expansion in algebra works. This is by virtue of distributive law. So this would be x square times x power 10 times x power 1 times x power 0. And you can rewrite this as x power 13. So this forms, this particular choice forms one term x power 13. Like that there could be a lot of x power 13 terms. Okay, let's remember the algebraic expansion in that way. But now how is combinatorics coming into picture? It's very simple. Choosing x square means that you are choosing two apples for the salad. Choosing x power 10 means you are choosing 10 bananas. And x power 1 in c of x means one fruit for c which is orange. 
and for pear you are choosing x bar 0 which means you don't want to be in the salad thus we are making a salad by multiplying four factors in algebra isn't that interesting and this exhausts all possibility to form a salad because we have considered all possibilities of the fruits number and we should keep in mind the constraint that a plus b plus c plus d is n right so how can i apply that constraint it comes directly from the exponent of x for example in the choice that i did n was 13 the total number of fruits is 13 and we want n so we are interested in x power n because see the fruit apple is 2 and banana is 10 1 orange and 0 pear add up to 13 fruits in total so if n is 13 then only x power 13 is of interest other terms are not significant so we can neglect them. so ultimately i just need to see the number of terms whose exponent is 13 or the coefficient of x power 13 in simplified form this is if n equals 13 and if you go for a general n i can just say that my answer is the coefficient of x power n in the product term a of x into b of x into c of x into d of x and that is an interesting meeting point of algebra and combinatorics so now let's come back to algebra and work out the a of x can be simplified to be remember that a of x was x power 0 plus x square plus x power 4 plus x power 6 and so on and that simplifies to be 1 by 1 minus x square this is as a result of geometric progression it's geometric progression and sum of terms is the geometric sum of the values and also here we assume the value of x for which the series converges say here x is less than 1 mod x is less than 1 whereas this simplifies to 1 minus x power 5 and this simplifies to 1 minus x and in the numerator you will have 1 minus x power 5 as there are 5 terms and this is just 1 plus x so let's substitute this and see what happens if you do that you will get 1 by 1 minus x square into 1 by 1 minus x power 5 into 1 minus x power 5 by 1 minus x into 1 plus x now we can cancel few terms notice that 1 minus x power 5 and 1 minus x power 5 goes off and 1 plus x cancels with 1 minus x square to have 1 minus x remaining and the total product is nothing but 1 minus x power minus 2 so this is very simple right and we have newton's binomial theorem to handle this why don't we use that what is newton's binomial theorem newton's binomial theorem imply that 1 plus x whole power r equals summation r choose i into x power i where i goes from 0 to infinity. so though it may sound weird that 0 to infinity and r choose i is not defined for higher values of i we can extend the definition by considering r choose i equals r into r minus 1 till r minus i plus 1 divided by i into i minus 1 till 1 and note that r is a real r belong to real number so using that minus 2 is real and we can apply this to get the expansion of 1 minus x whole power minus 2 and you will be wondering this to be 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube and so on so what would be the coefficient of x power n in this thus our answer would be the coefficient of x power n in 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube and so on which is nothing but n plus 1 and this will be the final result of our counting and it is easily attained using generating functions and that why this technique plays a major role and it also plays a fundamental role because it is so easy to understand that it has a great application in combinatorics let's check this out for a particular value let's take n equals 5 that is i have to make a fruit salad with five fruits under those four constraints what were they 
apple must be even number of banana must be a multiple of 5 oranges should be less than or equal to 4 and pear must be less than or equal to 1 so under that constraint if you create a table apple banana and you have orange pear so let's see the number of possible ways you can have 0 apple because 0 is even and 5 bananas and no orange or pear or you can have 2 apple and you can have 0 banana and 1 orange sorry 1 pear and 2 oranges or you can have 2 apples 0 bananas 3 oranges with 0 pear now let's increase the number of apples to 4 let's say 4 apples with 0 banana and 0 orange and 1 pear or you can have 4 apples with 0 banana 1 orange and 0 pear. and we can also have 0 apple 0 banana 4 orange and 1 pear so these are 6 possible salads formed with 5 fruits and that exactly coincides with our answer n plus 1 because n is 5 n plus 1 equals 6 ways to form the fruit salad so thus we have verified that and i hope you found this interesting the board work will be available in the description. You may go and download it there. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.